Hey everyone again. Do you know how hard it is to press that go live button? I sit here for 20 minutes trying to breathe, trying to calm down. This is, this has been amazing. It has been hard. It has been um, just mind blowing. Um, the page has now been open for seven days and we've had over 4,000 views on my five videos so far and I am just, like I said, blown away. Um, I've been getting messages from people from Tunisia um, in North Africa, um, California, um, Massachusetts, Idaho, Connecticut. Um, I'm just amazed how far this has gone. And they've all been from ET sufferers as well that um, are thanking me for telling the story. And that just makes me so proud. Um, to watch these videos back has been really hard for my family and myself. Um, this video, there will be a few emotions. So you're gonna see that what emotions do with um, essential tremor as well um i will get the full body shake this happens out in public as well if um but i'll get into that later um my family it, the videos have made my family cry they've made me cry it's been hard to watch because living with it you don't see it even from the inside, I don't see it like the videos are showing it. Um, you know, I said it's hard for people to stare, but watching those videos, I would be shaking at that person too, uh, staring at that person too, which is sad to say because I'm one of those people. Um, you know, it's, it's very hard when... I've, I've heard from my kids that it's made them cry. It's made my parents cry. Um, it's made my partner cry. It's made me cry. The kids see me for two minutes out in the kitchen or two minutes out in the lounge room and they walk away. Um, the same with Shane. Um, you know, and they, they don't think about me still shaking when they walk away um you know they'll walk back out half an hour later and I'm, I'm still shaking even they don't think of it as a 24-hour thing because i'm not on their mind 24 hours um it's been hard for me to watch because like i said from the inside i don't look that bad um when i watch the one back of of making the the coffee and the hot chocolate um i forgot to tell you by the way that was a coolish jug it was only lukewarm um i shouldn't have put my hand i should have told you so i don't know i felt it while i was live and thought oh it's not hot oh i'm not turning it on now that'll be good um but i was still talking as i was thinking that so i don't know how i done that but i didn't relay it to you guys and i should have it was cold i didn't want an accident on camera <laughs> i didn't want to have to go to the hospital and film from there um for a big burn but yeah you can imagine holding the jug and not being able to hold underneath that water hot would have gone everywhere and i just stand back it goes all over the floor and over the, the bench as well but in my eyes that's me that's normal to me um watching the one where I was making the sandwich. You know, to me, I only feel like I only shake a couple of times to get it down on the on the bread. I don't feel I shake 15 times to put it on the bread. Um, you know, it's it's been hard. It's It's been embarrassing. Um, but I was reading a, a study the other day on ET and it, it said that, um, 100% of head tremor patients report embarrassment, and which becomes the social anxiety, which becomes the social phobia really quick. Um, you know, I, I get a couple of these full body tremors somewhere. I, I don't like to go anywhere for a while because while you're out there, you want 
a big hole to swallow you up. Um, you know, um, but when you walk away, you just, all you can do is laugh to yourself and think, oh, well, happen again, okay. And I'll laugh about it when I relay the story later um, because that's all you can do. But at the time, it, it's very hard. Um, yesterday, I was in the post office and I got a phone call that my father-in-law had passed away. Um, I had a couple of people in the line in front of me and by the time I hung up, the lady at the counter called next please and I had to go up there with full body tremors and and said to her she said yeah what do you what we, I'll, I'll help you which was lovely and I explained I've got a central tremor and she said we we have a couple of um customers that come in that shake and I said and I, so I told her about the shaky net web page which is great that you know, that's another person that could be educated. Um, with four, over 4,000 views already, that I'm just so proud of the education that's been put out there. You know, friends have said to me this week, one friend said, I want to call you Shaky Nan. I said, go for it. Go for it. I'm sorry, I should have bought a tissue with me. I knew this was going to be an emotional. Um, you know, I... Go for it. Call me Shaky Nan. It lets me know that you know my story and I will feel comfortable. Friends this week have said to me, you know, I need your videos. And as soon as they say that, I feel a relief over me that they know I can shake now in front of them and feel okay about it because they know. And that's what this is about. It's about... You know, letting everyone that knows me know what it's about. If you see me out in the street, say, oh, hi, Shaky Nan, that'll put the biggest smile on my face because it lets me know that you know now what it's about and you know now why I do it. And now I'll feel confident in front of you. Now I'll feel comfortable in front of you. Now I'll be able to joke about it in front of you. Um, because eventually I want everyone to laugh with me, not at me. If that makes any sense. Um, there's been a lot of people over the years that have laughed at me, especially when I get these full tremors. Um, you know, with the news yesterday, my first thoughts were with him. He was a wonderful man. My next thought was, and I don't mean any disrespect to Jack, my next thought was there's going to be a funeral, there's going to be people. And that's how ET sufferers feel about things. When we get a wedding invitation or a birthday invitation in the mail, our first thought is, oh no, there's going to be people there. And we can't help that thought because that's that's the the social anxiety that we have that's the social phobia that we have with doing these with doing this it's it's hard you know i bought some props with me today imagine me at a buffet <laughs> now imagine they put a round baked potato on this plate. Where do you think it's going? It's going flying through the air, take out someone's eye, break an arm. Who knows? Like, <laughs> our worst enemies. These are what we think of straight away. These things that, oh no, I'll have to eat there. I'll have to drink there. And it's sad that we feel that way, but that's the way we feel. And that's what I want these videos to be able to do is to stop me feeling this way. Stop other ET sufferers feeling this way. You know, uh, put this out there that we shake, but yeah, let us know, you know the story. And the, like I said, the relief this week has just washed over me each time someone's mentioned it. 
and it's it, it hopefully it, it keeps going and hopefully like i said my little town will know about it and 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 it'll grow and it'll grow and people I won't get those looks everywhere I go and I'll feel more confident to walk out and I'll feel more confident to tell people to look up Shaky Nen. Um, I'm proud that I'm doing this. Like I said, it's it's very hard watching them back. Um, but this is a shaky life and oh, my dog's just come over. She saw me crying and that. <laughs> Hi, Des. Um, she needs a haircut. I'll show her once she's had a haircut. <laughs> I'm just so grateful that I'm already starting to feel more confident around the people that know this is why I'm doing this and I hope it can help a lot more people. Thank you once again for everyone's support. It's It's been such an overwhelming week. Um, and I... I don't care if this only reaches one extra person a week. I'm going to keep doing these because I feel it's worth it. And, you know, hopefully I'm helping people out there. Thank you very much. And I'm just seeing your, your comments. Thanks, Donna. I love you. Thanks, Jason. Oh, jeez. If I touch this page, I'll probably touch it. i got a... Oh, see. Oh got a tripod that's the only way I was able to do this it's only a little one but thank you Jason oh totally I love you darling oh look I'm touching things I'm gonna end <laughs> to anyone else above there thank you very much for watching and thank you everyone and have a good shaky day lots of love and I'll um see you on Friday okay thank you bye